Well, good day YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino. My head's not completely in the shot, so uh, let's, let's try and fix that a little bit. There we go. And yeah, we're drinking some beers, eh? So the beers we got are over here. We'll start with this one from the one, the only exchange brewing company. This is part of their extension series. This is Fior, which is an Italian style Pilsner. So back here we have this Pilsner blend of, this Pilsner's blend of hops accents herbal aromas and light fruit flavor over its base of German and Italian grown barleys. Dry hopped and crisp. Extension, a new line of creative limited run brews by the exchange. Okay, so here's the first thing I'm gonna say. This, this Italian Pilsner and being part of the extension line kind of reminds me of Black Oak's Epiphany line, where the first beer I had from their Epiphany line, Epiphany number one, which was a uh, barrel-aged quad, was fucking fantastic, and the first beer I've had from the extension line was their Coffee Porter, which was fantastic, and then Epiphany number two was a Pilsner. This is an Italian Pilsner. Uh, to be a creative you know, to go, hey, this is our creative limited run beers. I don't expect that to be the Italian Pilsner. To me, that should be, you know, pro probably just one of your normal beers. But hey, I'm I'm just the guy drinking it, right? So let's just drink it. Uh, and I did notice. It took a little bit of time, but I noticed that that wire was in the shot. So we got that out of there. I'm just charging my phone up before we go out. I like the dog on there, though. I wonder if that's Fior. And is that an Italian Greyhound? Kind of looks sort of like it, eh? Okay, boom. Scent. Well, first and foremost, the look. A little bit of chill haze, but a golden color. Crystal clear, bright white head. There is a little bit of a snap, crackle, pop. Scent from the glass. Grassy. And floral, something from the can. Grassy floral with a little bit of, a little bit of honeydew too. It's, it's not something I expected. Cheers. Let's try it. Okay. Grassy, grainy. A bitter. A bitter finish that just covers and envelops the back of the palate. And I wouldn't say it's herbal per se or anything like that. And I mean, I know they're talking about German and Italian malts and everything. It, it kind of reminds me of some... It kind of reminds me of that just bitter, slightly uh, sulfuric flavor you get from some Euro lagers. And strangely, that like melon flavor is still there. It's wet, it's drinkable. Um, it's an interesting beer, it really is. You know what? As just a lager, it's it's refreshing. It's easy drinking. I don't like the bitterness that's there in the back of the palate. I think it's a little too much, personally. Um, when I pick up any type of pilsner, any type of lager, I don't want that that bitterness back there. But it's there. Whatever. I can't change that. Um, I like the beer though. It's it's not a bad beer. I don't know if I would buy a can of Fior again or if I would drink it just if it was available. Uh, but out of 10 on it, I would probably give it a 6.75. Thank you guys, bye-bye.